Hey guys, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy just because I am, am I looking a little crooked? But why should it not be crooked? Because my whole face is crooked. I think that might be better. Crazy because just because I am sometimes troll because, yeah, you see what I mean. And y'all know what time it is. It's time for chapstick because my lips are dry. I have my fish in the oven. I'm going to have that with salad, so I'm going to try and make this quick. I know that salad is going to most likely purchase the Metropolis salad because I was thinking that it would replace all of these colors. These are my Inglot pigments. And then I used one of them, and I was reminded of how much I love them. I'm just like, oh, I want to get back to using these. And so then I'm thinking, if I use these, I won't feel compelled to get the Metropolis palette. So what I did was, I went on the Inglot website, <laughs> I purchased the door line, which turns any shadow into like a cream and then it dries down into like a powder. So that's what this looks like. And I did watch videos on it. You can use it for um, loose pigments. Some people were scraping off powdered shadow and putting it in and mixing it to make it creamier. Um, you can mix lipstick with it, their blush, their highlighters. I was like, oh my gosh, you can turn your eyeshadow into a liner. So I'm like, you know what? I am going to try this with these pigments, the loose pigments, and hopefully I don't have a bad reaction to this. And also, because I was on the Inglot website, I purchased two of their spatulas so I can mix it with as if I couldn't use just something else. But I did purchase two of these and I also purchased um, <laughs> the mixing which I'm a jig it. And it does have Inglot and their website on here the same as the spatulas have Inglot on there. I did not need this because I've been using this glass dish, but I'm like, you know what? It says Inglot and I love Inglot. And I did go back and look at some of my older Inglot videos and I was like, I was such an Inglot whore. <laughs> Almost all of my shadows were Inglot. And I was just like, where did the love go? And so I'm going to see if this will work for me with the pigments. Meanwhile, after I placed the order for this and these two spatulas and the door line, while I'm waiting for the order to come, it came pretty quick, I sent a message to Inglot from on their website asking, how long is the shelf life of the loose pigments? Keep in mind, my Inglot videos, some of them go back to 2011. This is 2020. So I received a reply back saying, oh, the pigments are, you know, once you open them, the shelf life is 18 months. Um, so these are at least nine years old. The reason I feel okay still using them, unlike pressed powders, because I have gotten bad reactions from using eyeshadows that were past, you know, three years old. And so if my eyeshadow expires, I just dump it. But the reason I feel okay with using these pigments is because I tap a little bit into the lid and then I work off of what's in the lid. Now granted, this is still open, so it's still getting air in there and it could breed bacteria, blah, 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 no. But my brain is telling me, because I'm not dipping brushes in, in and out of the container my brain is saying they're still good and the few times I have used them since then I haven't had a bad reaction and so I'm going to see if this works with the door line and using these pigments or just using the pigments without the door line like I used to before and we'll see how it goes and if it goes well I will not be purchasing the Metropolis palette if I have a reaction or start having a reaction to the pigments or if I have a reaction to the door line then I'm going to be back on the do I want the Metropolis palette or do I not? Because in my mind, I'm thinking to get it when, when they have the Rogue Cell at Sephora or Rouge Cell at Sephora, however you pronounce that word. So what I'm going to do for this video, five minutes in already almost, guys. I'm sorry, I have um, a makeup remover wipe here. I have a fiber cloth, a fiber, a microfiber <laughs> thing here because I'm going to swatch for you these shades that I have. So that's what we're going to do because I have forgot how much I love them. And when I use one, I'm like, why have I not been using these for all these years? So this number is number 88. 
And how I'm going to swatch it, I'm just going to swatch out of the, the lid with my finger. This is number 88. And I know this, this is going to end up really janky. And when you apply it on the lid, it looks black. Well, you see what the color is. This one is 71. This one is 21. Ooh, that's not much on the lid. So I'm actually like wiping on the lid as if it was a brush and you would do a swipe that way. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me clean off my fingers. This one is number 56. Oh, these are so beautiful. Number 29. Oh, that one is like really almost full. And with these, it's hard to use them up. And I did give some away. I went into the Mac store and asked for empty containers. And I poured some of these into empty containers and did a giveaway and gave some away. Because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get through all of this. This is number 65. Clean the back of my hand off. This is number 66. Number 55. Number 16. Number 68. The last one I have is number 40. So these are all of my Inglot pigments. Absolutely gorgeous. I am... I have looked through, I'm trying so hard like not to make a mess. I did look through some of my older videos and if I find some that look halfway decent um, using these pigments or even other videos in general that I've done years and years and years ago when I used to do YouTube videos, then I will upload those probably on a Tuesday which seems to be my makeup video upload day. So thank you if you use Inglot pigments or you have in the past and for whatever reason you stop, ask yourself where did the love go? <laughs> they do still have pigments on their website, these loose pigments, and I am going to be using these and see if, if that will work with this and if not, I'll just wear the pigments. And So that will be what I'm going to do. I still have, I think, one more video to upload of the Safari palette from Natasha Denona. And then after that, I'm going to dedicate every eyeshadow look to these pigments just to see if they're still working for me. Thank you for enjoying the trollness. Click subscribe, thumbs up, leave comments below, and you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.